I'm Chef Peter Sclafani from Rafino's Restaurant in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And today I'm going to show you how to make a really simple classic dish using speckled trout. It's a trout pecan. Trout pecan is a dish that was invented by uh, Dick Brennan from Commander's Palace. Um, you know, back in the day, trout amandine was always the big dish, but he figured, why are we using almonds that come from California? Let's use pecans that come from Louisiana. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by pan roasting our filet of speckled trout. So I'm going to take a little Creole seasoning and we're going to dust our, our fish just lightly with some Creole seasoning. And then I'm going to dredge it in a little bit of seasoned flour. So I'm just taking some regular all-purpose flour and some more of that Creole seasoning. And we're going to dip it in the flour and then kind of shake it off. We don't want a thick um, batter. So I've got my pan heating already and we're going to add a little bit of olive oil to the pan. And then we're going to add a piece of butter to that and let that butter melt. Now pan roasting is my favorite way to cook fish. So what we're going to do is we're going to start the fish presentation side down. So the presentation side on the fish is the side that was against the bones. So that means the side that was against the skin that had the skin on it is going to be up. So we're going to go ahead in our hot pan and put that presentation side down. We're going to give it just a minute or two um, to kind of get nice and golden brown before we put it in the oven. I have my oven set to 350 degrees and we're not going to cook it on the second side. We're going to flip it and put the whole pan in the oven and we're going to let the heat from the pan brown the, um, the other side of the fish. Um, the great thing about this and using these small uh, speckled trout fillets is you can see it's going to turn white around the edges. And that's what we're looking for, just to get a little color on the fish. And it, it's turning white around the edges, so that oil and butter are really hot. Now we're going to flip it gently, so we've got nice color already on our fish. And now we're going to throw it in this oven at 350 degrees. Next, we're going to roast our pecans. So to roast our pecans, we're going to take another uh, piece of butter right here. I may use a piece and a half for this. And we're going to let that melt. And then we're just going to add our pecans and a little bit of salt. You could roast them all the way on the stove, but I find they tend to burn that way. So what I'm going to do is put those in the oven with the, uh, with the trout while it's cooking. So we're melting our butter. We're going to add our pecans. And then I like to add a good pinch of salt to these pecans. I'm using sea salt. And then I'm just going to kind of toss that and get them coated with that butter. And then again, I'm going to stick this in the oven. Next up, we're going to make our Meniere sauce. So Meniere sauce means from the miller's wife. So typically classic Meniere, you would dust your trout in flour saute it in butter and that brown butter and flour would begin to make your sauce. You'd add a little bit of Worcestershire and lemon juice and parsley to make classic Meniere. But to make Creole Meniere, we're going to do it a little differently. Here I have some veal demi-gloss. And nowadays you can find veal demi-gloss in a lot of your better uh, grocery stores. I also have a little bit of white wine. And we're going to let that begin to cook. And then we're going to add some lemon juice to this. So what I'm going to do is just take a lemon, cut it in half, and I have one of these little lemon squeezers that's going to keep the seeds out. And we're going to go ahead and add that lemon juice to the pan. And then this is a butter sauce. So what we're going to do is we want to emulsify our butter in the pan. So that means we don't want the butter to melt because if the butter melts, it'll form an oil slick on top. We want it to get nice and creamy. So what we're going to do is add one or two pieces of butter at a time. And then I like to shake the pan, but we can whisk it also. And we have to keep that pan moving because we want the butter to emulsify. Like we said, we don't want it to just melt. Now, if it starts to boil too much, that will cause your butter to separate. What I do is instead of messing with the the temperature control, I just pull the pot off the heat for a second, let that boiling slow down, and then I can move it back on the fire. 
Once you start to get your butter melting, you can add more butter at a time. And when we're finished, it's going to look like we've added cream to this sauce, but we, we haven't. I know it looks like I'm adding a lot of butter, but we're only going to put a couple of tablespoons on each portion. So we're just going to keep stirring that until all of the butter is emulsified in the sauce. You have to keep whisking it. This is not one of those dishes where you want to walk away from the stove. Just going to put the rest of our butter in there. Now once you have this sauce made, you want to keep it in a warm place. You don't want to let it get cold again or that butter will set up. And you don't want to get it too warm because then your butter will separate. So it's almost finished. I'm going to go ahead and cut the heat off. We're going to season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. And then we're going to add that to our trout. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and take our fish out of the oven, perfectly cooked. We're also going to pull these pecans out. I'm going to give them just a little toss. So the pecans are ready. So we're going to go ahead and you have to be gentle. You can, you can see how that how that speckled trout is just beginning to separate. It's so delicate. We're going to pull that out. And I'm going to put some of those great roasted pecans on top. And now we've got some of our nice and creamy miniere sauce. right over the dish like that, and that's great. So, trout pecan, a New Orleans classic.